What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. And dito na naman ang pabibo ninyong guro na punong-puno ng humor and willing to give you more. Narito ako para tulungan ka na tulungan ang sarili mong matuto sa pumamagitan ng math pinadali, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lessons. Ngayong araw, I will be sharing to you our math discard tricks number 3 kung saan pag-uusapan natin kung paano mas mabilis mag-solve kapag 11 na ang multiplier natin. And, don't forget also to subscribe, click the notification bell para update ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PH na channel. And please also share this to your friends para alam din nila kung paano ito or para magkamitin nila ito sa kanilang lessons. And without further ado, let's get to our discussion. Our math is card tricks number 30. Hi there everyone, welcome to our math discard tricks number 3. Today I will be sharing the fast multiplication by 11. Let's have this one, 15 times 11. Now we'll do first the traditional way kung paano ginagawa yung dati nating pagsasolve ng product. 15 times 11, so ang gagawin natin dito, ba? si 1 ita times sa 5, we'll get 5. C1 ita times sa 1, we'll get 1. Then, sunod, ito naman. C1 ita times sa 5, we'll get 5. But yung 5, tapat na dapat ni 1. Then, C1 times 1, we'll get 1. Beside this 5. Then, after that, we'll add. Bring down C5. 1 plus 5 is 6. Bring down C1. Now, we're going to use this product para makuha yung pattern on how we are going to solve 15 times 11 na mas mabilis. Okay. Let's take a look at this way. Okay. Ito yan. 3-digit number. We're going to assume that the answer is a 3-digit number. Again, my word is assume. Assume natin na kapag dalawang digit ang minamultiply kay 11, the answer would be a 3-digit number. Bakit ko ina-emphasize yung word na assume? Kasi may mga number na kapag 2-digit number na kapag binultiply sa 11 ang magiging sagot ay 4-digit numbers. But for the sake of the trick, we're going to use the 3-digit number kapag 2-digit number ang minamultiply. Let's say 115 yan. If that's the case, dapat apat yan. Dagdag lang ng isang digit. Kung may isa pang 1 dyan, dapat 5-digit number ang assumed na digit ang sagot natin. Ayan. I hope that's clear. Now, observe natin. Ito. Yung 1 sa kasi 5, eto yan. ba? Yung 15 yon. Itong 1 and 5, hiniwalay lang si 15. Now, paano naman makakuha si 6? Bakit 6 yan? Anong relationship ni 6 dun sa 1 sa kasi 5? Exactly. Pinag-plus lang si 1 sa kasi 5 para makuha si 6. Ganun po ang shortcut. Again, let me repeat. Ang gagawin una, split. Hiwalayin si 1 sa kasi 5. Si 1, dun sa first box or sa first digit. Si 5, dun sa last digit. Sorry. Ayan. Then after that, after mong paghiwalayin yung dalawa, yung 6, makukuha yan kapag pinag-plus mo yung 5 and 1. And we'll have the product. That's 165. Let's try that to the following examples. 18 times 11. Since 2-digit number ang minimultiply kay 11, assume that the answer is a 3-digit number. Ayan, tatlong box ang kailangan. First thing you have to do, hiwalay si 1 sa kasi 8. Saan mo ilalagay si 1? Sa unahan. Si 8, sa dulo. Ayan. Ganyan ang itsura niya. Next, para makuha yung gitna, ipagpa-plus ang alin, ang 8, saka ang 1. 
And what is 1 plus 8? That's 9. This is now the product. Hindi tayo nag-undergo din sa series of multiplication, tapos ipagpa-plus sa dulo, but we did the pattern. We did the trick. Kung paano ginagawa yung times 11 ng mabilis. Let's try it with 24 times 11. Again, since two-digit number expect or assume that, the answer would be a three-digit number. Ano unang gagawin? Si 2 mapupunta kay first box, si 4 sa last digit. Okay, 2 and 4. Now, to get the middle, we'll have to add 2 and 4. And that would give us 6. This is now the product. The product of 24 times 11 is 260. Now, the pattern is also applicable if it is more than two-digit number ang minamultiply. Kahit pa yung lima, anim, this pattern is, is still applicable. Ayan. Now, since three-digit number, we're going to assume that the answer would be a four-digit number. Now, kanina, si 2 naging unahan, si 4 naging ulihan, ganun din naman dito. Kung ano yung first digit, First digit din sa final answer. Kung ano yung last dito, last din doon sa final answer. Yung 2, wag nyo muna munang papansin yan. Ayan, 13. So, 1 sa kasi 3, nilagay doon. Next, same process pa rin naman. Dito, ipagpa-plus. Dito sa first box na blanco, ipagpa-plus. Pero ang alin? Ang ipagpa-plus dyan, etong dalawa. From right to left. 3, saka 2. What is 3 plus 2? That's 5. Again, yung 3 saka si 2, ayan ang kinuha para makuha si sum na 5. Next, may isa pang blanco. Add ulit yan. Ano ang i-add natin? We're going to add, eto naman, from, left, uh, from right to left, 2 saka 1, ipagpa-plus. What is 2 plus 1? 3. Now, this 1,353 would be the final answer. As simple as that. Now, maybe you are asking, paano naman sir? Paano po kapag ang naging sagot dito sa dalawang magkasunod na number or magkatabing number ay 11? Am I going to write 11 here? What if 17 yan? Am I going to write 17 here? 1 and 7? My answer is no. We'll have that to this another example. Ayan. 39 times 11. Same process. 2-digit number. So we'll assume that the answer would be a 3-digit number. Now, first thing that you have to do, 3 and 9, hiwalay. Si 3 sa una, si 9 sa dulo. Then, Ano na? 9 plus 3. Ipag plus natin to get what's in the middle. But the problem there is, yung 9 plus 3 is 12. Pero isa lang ang spot dito. Dapat isang number lang ang nandyan. If that's the case, kung 12 ang sagot, ganito ang gagawin natin. Si 2, may e1. Then si 1, magiging carry kay 3. Ilalagay kay 3. Just like, like what we are doing kapag nag-add tayo. Hindi mo pwedeng ilagay din ng buong 12, pero magkikerry ka doon sa number to the left niya. Ayan. Now, ang dagdag lang dito, hindi pa itong final answer, syempre, kasi may carry one doon. So, ang sagot dyan will be, kopyahin si 9 kasi wala namang carry dyan, kopyahin si 2, si 3 magiging 4 na, kasi nga, 3 plus 1. So, the answer or the product would be 429. Ganun lang po. May additional lang kapag hindi single digit yung sagot. Next, let's have this one. Ayan, 3 digit number. So, assume tayo na ang sagot ay 4 digit number. Now, si 6 ilalagay ko sa una. Si 3 ilalagay ko sa dulo. Ayan. Now, saan nga ito makukuha? Dito sa 7 saka sa 3. Okay, what is 7 plus 3? 10. Hindi mo naman pa ilagay na 10 dyan kasi isang box lang yan. 
So, ganda ang gagawin. 0 dyan. Then, carry 1 doon sa kasunod. May plus 1. Now, don't mind plus 1. Mamaya pa yan gagalawin. Ha? Let's have 6 and 7 para dito sa second ay sa box na blanco. 6 plus 7 is 13. So, we'll write here 3, tapos plus 1 doon sa kapila. 3 tapos plus 1. Ayan. When we are done already na maglagay ng carry, saka punan yung mga box dito, we can go to our final answer. 3 kopya, 0 kopya, 3 plus 1 is 4, 6 plus 1 is 7. And that would be the final answer. Okay, I hope you are ready. If kailangan pang balikan yung uh, lesson, you may do that. Bago tayo mag sa ating humor drill, wherein I'm going to give you 4 items to solve. Alright. So, for this humor drill, please do it as fast as you can para ma-practice kayo kung paano mag-mental math or masabilis mag-solve kapag 11 ang multiplier. And I'll give you time to finish that. I'll pause for a while and I'll get back to you after. And if you need time, please pause the video kung kailangan pa na mas mahabang time. Yan. So, your timer starts now. Alright, so let's answer this one by one. Ayan. So, 63 times 11. Ayan. So, since two-digit number, we're going to expect that the answer, or not expect, we're going to assume that the answer would be three-digit number. So, 6 and 3, paghihiwalayin. Si 6 dito, si 3 doon. Then, to get What's inside here, ipag-a-plus natin yung dalawa. So, 3 plus 6, that is 9. So, the product would be 609. Next, number 2, 345 times 11. So, since 3-digit number, we're going to assume that the answer would be a 4-digit number. Now, first digit would be the first digit of the final answer. Last digit would be the last digit of the final answer. So, 3 and 5. Ayan. Next, paano ito kukunin? Ayan, we're going to add 4 and 5. Then we'll have 9. Paano ito makukuha? We're going to add 4 and 3. 3 plus 4, that is 7. Oh, since wala namang carry, that would be the final answer already. Next, number 3. 49 times 11. Ayan, 2-digit number. Assume that 3-digit number ang sagot. Hiwalay si 4 and 9. Ayan. Then, what is 9 plus 4? 13. And we cannot write there 13 directly. So, 3 dito, tapos carry 1 doon. Ayan. Since may carry 1, hindi pa to final answer. So, we'll do the final answer. 9, copy si 3. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, the product of 49 times 11 is 539. The last one... 174. So, expect or assume that the answer would be a 4-digit number. Then, 1 would be the first digit, 4 would be the last digit. Now, to get this one, we are going to add 7 and 4. What is 7 plus 4? That's 11. So, 1 dito, carry 1 doon. Ayan. Then, 7 and 1 to get this, this one. 1 plus 7, that is 8. So, since may carry 1, meron pa tayong another step. Ayan. So, 4, 1. Then, 8 plus 1, that is 9. And copy 1. 
So the answer would be 1914. So congratulations, kung na-perfect mo yan, congratulations, kung mabalik, mabilis ka na mag-solve kapag 11, sana magamit mo yan sa lesson ninyo sa mathematics. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again.